subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button click the bell button and enjoy the latest uploads from our channel X versus iphone 10s max speed test let's begin with a boot up in three two one and see which one can get there first now i've been excited to do this one for quite some time i wanted to get some of those iphone speed tests out of the way because the OnePlus 6, the more I'm using the 10s Max, I'm realizing how much of a value this phone really is. It feels like a very similar type of phone for like half the price. You could literally get one for yourself and one for your kid and still have, you know, some money left over if you bought a 10s Max. You can get two of these phones for the price of one of these phones. So you see the 10s Max did boot up first over the OnePlus 6, but not by much. It was like a second. All right, so let's go ahead and test that face unlock. Now, I'm going to tell you right now before we even do it, the OnePlus 6 is going to blow the iPhone XS Max away when it comes to the face unlock speed. Let's check it out here for the OnePlus 6, 3, 2, and let me turn the screen on, 1. Boom, and you couldn't even see the lock screen. Let me do it again, 3, 2, 1. Boom, you can't even see the lock screen. And to prove to you this is not a fluke, you can see there's a lock screen. There's the unlock. So super fast there on the OnePlus 6. Let's check it out for the 10s Max. All right, so here's the 10s Max. You can see it does unlock, then you swipe up. Now let's go ahead and see if you have it laying on the table, has the raise to wake on, you look and boom, you're in. So there you go for the 10s Max. So it's a two-step process. And I get this comment quite frequently, people arguing, who cares, man? I really don't care about a two swipe process. I want to see my notifications. At least I could see my notifications without the lock screen, you know, going away. Well, on a OnePlus 6, just don't look straight at it. If you keep it on an angle, you're not going to, you know, open it up or anything like that. Now, for the iPhone XS Max, I think that it would be nice if Apple offered a way to bypass the lock screen or have it on. That would be a nice option. I know they could implement that if they're at least not going to bring a second way to unlock. Another thing is, is with the OnePlus 6, you can just have the fingerprint sensor on and turn off face unlock, and then you can still see your notifications. So I think when it comes to unlocking, the OnePlus 6 is a more enjoyable experience, but I think that the iPhone XS Max is more secure because of the way Face ID works. OnePlus even states that the face unlock is not the most secure method. So definitely more secure here, just more fast and enjoyable. This is a speed test, and this round goes to the OnePlus 6. All right, guys, so we've arrived at the application portion of the speed test. The OnePlus 6, this is the 8 gigabyte of RAM version, Qualcomm Snapdragon 845 with an Adreno 630 GPU. So this one is a beast of a smartphone, the best specs you can basically get right now. Over here, Apple A12 Bionic, the best you can get from Apple right now, 4 gigabytes of RAM. This does have iOS 12 on board, Apple 4 core GPU. This guy on the left, I didn't mention, has Android 9 Pie, the latest official update for the OnePlus 6. Everything closed out on the right. Everything closed out here for the OnePlus 6. As you can see, nothing did appear. Let's go ahead and begin this test with calculator 1x animations on the OnePlus 6. 3, 2, 1. You can see the OnePlus 6 ahead of the, the iPhone XS Max there. Let's go into clock. You can see the OnePlus 6 maybe slightly on that animation. Let's go into settings. You can see that was pretty close. You call that one down below. What about Twitter? Now, I do want to mention that the OnePlus 6 tends to have a more fast feel, whereas the iPhone XS Max is a more smooth feel. So just the way it scrolls, it's just more visually appealing, I think, on the iPhone. But if you like speed, your eyes going to even have trouble keeping up with the OnePlus 6. That's how fast it is. Coming home, let's go into Snapchat. And I've even heard people say the OnePlus 6 feels too fast. And you could see that was a loss for the XS Max. Let's go into Instagram. But what's really incredible is half the price, and look at this performance you're getting versus these 10s Max over here. And you can see, just look at the scroll speeds, more smooth for the iPhone, faster, so fast you can't even see the posts on the OnePlus 6. Let's go over here to my profile page, click this photo I did about these two right here. Which one would you choose? Go ahead and get your vote in on the Instagram page. Let's go into WhatsApp, and you can see WhatsApp is first for the OnePlus 6. Let's go into YouTube. And you could see YouTube first for the OnePlus 6 trending. And you could see scrolling speeds. Again, it's the same story on pretty much everything. It's going to be fast versus smooth here. Let's go into Prime Video. Now, if you're the type of person who's always trying to be fast, you might like the OnePlus 6. If you're, you know, if you're the type of person who's got time to relax and enjoy those animations, you'll really like the iPhone. But you've seen right there, Amazon Prime Video was first for 
the OnePlus 6. Let's go into Amazon. And Amazon is first on the left. And you can see now on the right, you can see once you're in the app, it doesn't really matter. Both do perform excellent. Let's go into eBay. See eBay was first for the OnePlus 6. And all the apps do look a little different. And this is one area where I think iPhone still does lead as app polish just looks a little better. But speed wise, it's getting really close. I think gaming still might be a win for the tennis max as it did win that first one in slither and let's go into jetpack joyride people ask me why do you keep adjusting the phones in the speed test that's because i got the grid lines on and my camera and i'm trying to make sure they stay centered on this video so you can see it looked like the one plus six did leap ahead there for a jetpack joyride let's go into dead trigger to a more graphically intensive game and you can see this is a win automatically to the iPhone XS Max, but the OnePlus 6 was right there on its heels. It wasn't too far behind. So for an Android phone, the OnePlus 6 is as good as it gets when it comes to gaming. I mean, you could say, well, the Razer phone is better than that phone. Well, not really. It has a Snapdragon 835. Let's go into the PUBG Mobile 3, 2, 1. And you can see PUBG Mobile should load first for the iPhone XS, but I'm going to go ahead and speed it up till we get to the match page here. Okay, so the iPhone XS Max was significantly ahead when it comes to PUBG Mobile showing its true power here. And let's hit start. But it wasn't so far ahead that I could turn it off and come back and still beat the OnePlus 6. The OnePlus 6 wasn't bad. It was pretty, uh, pretty respectable. But the iPhone XS Max was still a much better experience there. So you can see... The match time load, again, it was a couple seconds or so for the OnePlus 6. All right, guys, so let's go into N22 Benchmark, 3, 2, 1. And you can see that is the iPhone XS Max and then the OnePlus 6. Let's go into Speed Test. And you can see Speed Test did something weird there on the OnePlus 6, but it's still loaded first. Let's go into Video Shop. And you can see that was about identical. I think the OnePlus 6 was slightly ahead. And let's go ahead and test the camera opening time, 3, 2, 1. And you can see that is the iPhone XS Max. But I'm not going to really do a Geekbench test here. We'll do the actual benchmarks, but you can see it's not optimized for the XS Max. And I'm going to quit doing that until Geekbench updates it. Because I've been noticing in my previous speed test that it's just not optimized for the iPhone XS. So, all right, guys. So here we are with the multitasking around 8 gigabytes of RAM, Oxygen OS. This should be enough to keep everything open on the OnePlus 6. You can see so far, no chokes whatsoever was that a choke yeah we had a slight reload there for antutu benchmark but hey it still wasn't that slow so let's go into dead trigger 2 and let's go into jetpack joyride that's good to go let's go into slither that's good to go ebay is good to go amazon let's go into prime video hopefully i didn't buy something right there in amazon let's come home let's go into whatsapp let's go into instagram let's go into snapchat and let's go into Twitter. Let's go into settings. And let's go into clock. And let's go into calculator. So a slight stumble on the Antutu, but nothing much to speak of. Very fast stuff there. Let's go into the Geekbench here. Let's go into camera. Look like a little bit of a reload there for camera on the 10s Max. Let's go into Antutu. Antutu did the same thing here for the 10s Max. You can see, let's go into Dead Trigger 2. Let's go into jetpack joyride let's go into slither ebay amazon prime video now i do got to give apple credit their animations look smoother when you are going through multitasking but it's almost even here actually it is basically even i'm calling it a draw here on multitasking but apple's animations look smoother whereas they're just a little less smooth looking on the one plus six but they're very fast so they're both pretty much equal in terms of holding those apps in the background okay so here we go with a quick internet test let's go ahead and go to apple.com three two one and you can see apple.com first on the right safari versus chrome here because that's what comes with the one plus out of the box and then you have you know safari here out of the box for this guy so let's go ahead and go to yahoo dot com and let's go over here and go to yahoo.com let's hit go three two one and you can see that time the one plus six seemed to be ahead so i think in terms of browsing experience again it still just feels a little smoother like the pinch to zoom just feels a little bit more fluid for the iphone but i mean it's not by much it's very minimal and some pages you can't really zoom like this one in safari it seems like you could zoom on everything 
But again, even in internet browsing, it's more of a fast feel versus a smooth feel. So you got to decide what you like. Personally, I do like the iPhone experience for browsing because a smoother feel, more relaxed feel is what I like to feel when I'm doing web searching. But if you're looking for that rocket performance and that rocket speed, you know, you got to get a quick search up real fast. You're going to love the OnePlus 6. So that's what I feel about internet. Both are pretty much equally fast though. All right, guys. So I shot a 35 second clip a piece exact even time on both, both at 1080, 30 frames per second. Let's go ahead and see which one can render this out first. Here's where we can really test to see how much faster that A12 Bionic is. Let's go into next three, two, and one. And you could see the OnePlus 6 off to a nice start. The iPhone XS Max seems to be jumping way ahead though. Maybe not way ahead. And whoa, that was the XS Max by a decent margin. So even on a 35 second clip, it was a pretty decent margin. So as the clip gets longer, the 10s max is going to be way ahead of the one plus six so here's where you know that cpu probably really comes into the play is when you are doing stuff like this all right so the final geekbench scores are in and it's no surprise the apple iphone is going to win this one as it did last year and it continues to do so the a series chipsets are definitely ahead in these benchmarks considerably. I don't know why Siri just activated. So in conclusion, I feel like the iPhone XS Max still has more actual power when you actually need that power, like for video editing, it has a more optimized iMovie application. Apps are just a little bit more polished. And also you do have better gaming performance for the XS Max. But I think that for everyday apps and speed, raw processing power, the OnePlus 6 is as good as it gets for Android. It's super fast. It's even faster than the Pixel 2, which is like Google's baby right there. So the OnePlus 6 is a beast of a smartphone for half the price. And does it feel half the price in terms of performance? Absolutely not. It feels like maybe $100 or $200 cheaper, but it's actually like $500 or $600 cheaper. If you get the maximum model 512 gig, the OnePlus 6 is like $1,000 cheaper than a 10s Max. But there's a lot of other things that would make you decide to buy these. So I will be doing a more of a full comparison or a should you buy type of upgrade video in the future. So you might want to be subscribed for that. If you found this video helpful, entertaining, informing, enjoying, do me a favor, click that like button for me. And if you're new here, consider subscribing for more. And if you didn't get a chance to enter in the giveaway, I dropped one yesterday. Go ahead and check out my last video. I'll leave a link up here so you can get entered in that giveaway. We're giving away a OnePlus.